Good afternoon, Retriever fans, and welcome to another edition of the UMBC Coaches Corner. I'm Dan LaHat. After a weekend series against conference rival Albany, I was able to catch up with head coach Bob Muma to discuss that series as well as tomorrow's game against George Washington and the upcoming America East series up at Stony Brook on Long Island this weekend. Coach, last weekend had Albany into town. Able to get one out of three. I mean, improvement yeah. over, over last year a little bit. What are your thoughts going away from that and heading into the midweek? Yeah, I think uh, you know I think we played pretty good baseball the you know the, the whole weekend. Uh, you know, game one we were able to come off with a walk off win. Uh, I think it showed the resiliency of these kids. You know, I guess we gave up three in the in the top of the seventh. We were able to come back right away in the bottom of the seventh and get a get a great win. Uh, you know, game two pretty close game. Last inning kind of got away from us just just a little bit an error here or there. And you know, I thought Sunday's game was was very competitive. Five to you know five to I guess two five to three ball game. You know, maybe one error, you know, one one or two pitches uh, uh, allowed an extra extra runs for them. And I, I actually thought we swung the bats pretty good that day. Hit a lot of balls right at him. So, uh, you know, very very competitive series, and I think it shows you know where this program has come from last year. And kids again were a little disappointed not getting two out of three. And I think look forward to going back up and, and playing them uh, you know, later in the year. A little bit of a bizarre ending to game one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, men on first yeah. and third, one out, and they're they're looking to intentionally walk right. freshman Kevin Lachance right. and he has the presence of mind to get a ball over the plate and lift it in center field. Yeah, I think it shows uh, you know the maturity and the, and, the, and the sky's the limit for Kevin, you know, the the, the, the baseball IQ I guess he has. Uh, I've seen it one time and I was on the other end of it my freshman year. We lost a game doing that, but but what a great uh, heads up play by Kevin and uh, you know helped us win a ball game. So now going forward tomorrow down to uh, Northern Virginia to mm -hmm. take on George Washington. Before then, a, a tough trip up to Stony Brook, who right. maybe they're not as, as good as last year getting to the College World Series, but always a tough task to go up to Long Island. Yeah, I think kids are looking forward to getting back on the field and playing at, at GW tomorrow. You know, a team we should be, compete very well with, and uh, you know, hopefully we go down there, play good baseball, get a win. And you know, always Stony Brook, great competition. Historically, another great team in the league. So uh, again, I think each week is, is a great opportunity for these kids. If I think they're starting to know that if they really go out there and play good baseball. Um, they have a chance to beat anybody, and I think we go up there with the ex same expectations of, uh, of let's get a series win. That, that really is, is the goal for this group, and, and certainly is very doable if we play you know, the way we're capable of playing. Now these next four games that are all on turf, mm -hmm. does that help, hurt? What's that like for a baseball player, and depending on position, how does that affect the game? Yeah, um, I think it affects the game from a defensive pitching standpoint where there's there's going to be no bad hops, all the plays become basically routine plays. So I think we're a good defensive ball club anyway, so it should even make us even better on turf. But uh, uh, you know, I, I don't think it helps us or hurts us a whole lot. So uh, I, I think it uh, uh, it's just a little different way of, of playing the game. So you know you're going to have a great field conditions, uh, the field will be in good shape, and, and nothing changes. Go out there, throw a bunch of strikes, you know, swing the bats, hit, hit the balls hard, and make all the plays defensively. Tomorrow, expecting Ke Kevin Ladner to get his first start of the year. Right. What kind of pushed that into being, or, or what's the choice behind that? Well, I think uh, knowing we have a conference on Friday, sa Friday, Saturday this week, everything's pushed up a day. So uh, certainly, you know, there's not an opportunity to use any of the, the weekend starters. You know, midweek, uh, Kevin's done a great, great job out of the bullpen. He's, he throws a bunch of strikes. Uh, he locates his fastball pretty well. Throws a second pitch for a strike. So uh, the feeling is we'll use a. Our bullpen has been great this year. We'll probably use two or three guys on Wednesday, but he gives us a great chance to get off to a to a really good start in the ball game. Probably expect him two or three innings, and, and then turn it over to our bullpen for the next uh, next six or seven. So you know we expect a great effort out of him, and he's earned that right to go out there and start uh, this game from what he's done in the bullpen. Once again, the Retrievers travel down to Northern Virginia to take on George Washington tomorrow in Arlington, Virginia. First pitch is scheduled for 3 p.m. at Barcroft Park. And then the Retrievers head up to Long Island for a Friday-Saturday three-game set against conference rival Stony Brook. For the Coach's Corner, I'm Dan LaHatt.